Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. In today's video, I am going to share with you how to flip three thrift store items into beautiful home decor. So without any further ado guys, just grab your tea and let's get started. I found these beautiful mugs at my thrift store and there's not much to do to these. I need to um, give them a really good cleaning and I'm going to have to try to get rid of these marks on the covers and uh, maybe do a little uh, cover update. So I'm going to try to sand that off the best I can. Now I'm going to wipe all the dust off of these um, covers. Now I'm going to take one of my favorite stain by Benjamin Moore. It's called Alexandria. And I am going to give these covers a uh, coat of stain, but only on the outside. I also give a coat of spray protector on top of these covers to make them less and uh, easier to clean. This was a very simple uh, fix, but the difference that it makes, uh, it's beautiful. And these will be displayed in my kitchen and I will um, use them when I have some of my friends uh, come in to visit. I found this beautiful jar at my local thrift store and I took the string that was on it off and give it a good wash. And now I'm taking some rope and some natural wooden beads and I'm going to determine which one of my beads will fit this rope as I want to create a uh, bead string to put on that jar. Now that I have determined which bead is a good to go with, I am just going to take as many as I need out and ready. And now I am going to take my stain. Uh, this is Benjamin Moore and the color is Alexandria. And I am going to go ahead and I am going to stain each one of these beads. While I let my beads dry, I am going to um, determine uh, which length I need for my rope. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that. I am going to take some scotch tape and I am going to tape very tightly the end of my rope uh, because it's going to make it easier for me to pass it through my jar but also to get the beads through as well. Now I'm going to make a knot with my rope and going to put my beads in place. Thank you. 
I have a little bit of difficulty with the last one so I just took my pliers and pulled it through and now I'm making another knot on top and I'm going to make little knots at the bottom um, of the beads and determine what length I want these to hang and I'm just going to go ahead and cut the excess off. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put some flower in my vase. Um, I'm choosing this color as I'm going to use this vase in my bedroom uh, decor. But you could use flowers or greeneries or anything that suits your own decor. I found these two beautiful shelves at my local thrift store and I give them a really good wash and I'm spray painting them with my chalk Rust-Oleum paint in white linen and I give this three good coats allowing for drying time in between. Now that my pieces are nice and dried, I'm taking my stain by Bejan and Moore in color Alexandria again. And I am going to take a small paintbrush and I'm going to apply this stain in all the grooves and all the details. Now that I have the stain applied where I want it, I am going to take a brush, a dry brush, and I'm just going to swipe that around just to remove um, access and just to kind of spread it to give it a nice um, antique look. So I don't want it to be um, kind of uh, bold. I want it to be very subtle and I'm just going to apply stain where I think there should be a bit more and then brush again until I get the look that I like. I find it a bit light so I'm going to reapply another time and do the same thing. Now that I've finished both of my shelf, I'm going to go ahead and take some a little bit of my white craft paint and I'm going to use a clean brush and I'm just going to slightly brush that um, on my piece just to brighten it up a little bit. I want uh, the uh, grooves and details to be darker, but I like the rest to be a little bit brighter. So I'm going to just go ahead and slightly brush that white paint over the whole piece. Now I took my shelf and a piece of pine board and I'm tracing the best as I can to have a ledge shelf over the piece so I'm just gonna create and design a little bit bigger than the shelf now I'm taking my jigsaw and I'm going uh, to cut the piece that I trace make sure to wear protective eye glasses and some mask for the dust Now that it's all cut, this piece will get a very good sanding all over. 
Now that my pine pieces are ready, I'm just going to go ahead and take my Benjamin Moore stain in Alexandria color again. Um, and I'm going to give the shelf a very good coat of stain. Now that my shelf is stained on both sides, I'm just going to wipe off any um, excess of uh, stain and I'm going to let it dry. Now I'm going to apply some Agarola glue, um, a little bit here and there and everywhere, just to give me that permanent hole. But I am going to go uh, in between um, the glue that I put and apply some hot glue to give me the instant hold. And now I'm going to quickly place my pine board over top of my shelf. And here's the final result. I love how they turned out. I am going to be using these in my bedroom with some kind of a little plant over it. Well, that's it for this video folks I hope you really enjoyed it I sure did enjoy uh, making them for you guys if you like my video please give me the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I would love to hear all your comments down below until next time folks have yourself a great day